So we're here with uh, Livall and hi. Hi, so who are you? Uh, my name is Fiona. I'm Fiona. the sales director of Livo. And your helmet Fiona. right now is doing Fiona. some lights here on the back. And um, so you are doing smart helmets for bicycles. Yes. And they, it's very important to have this at, at night, right? To, yes. The cars can see you. Yes. So um, uh, let's try put this right here. Maybe you mm -hmm. can, take, can you take yours off? Okay. Uh, and, uh, can you explain what does it, how does it work? Uh, can you explain this one? Okay, this one. And this one is our newest one. It's an urban style. It can be for e-bike or e-scooter or uh, bikes. And we have the automatic sensor lighting. So this one, if you are in the dark place, the lights will show up. If you are in a very bright place, the lights will turn on automatically. And with the remote controller, uh, it can it works for the turn signal. See? How, you, you show which way you're going? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my cool. Partner. And yeah. the right. Oh, yeah. Nice. And you can also hear the voice from here, so you know, DDD, -d -d, so you know you are making the right turn. <laughs> just direct, uh, just seem like the, your car. It's showing a DDD? Uh, yes, a from this. Song. Yeah, so if you are turn, turn right, then it will, you will hear the voice from the right speaker. Nice. So we have the speaker here and microphone, so you can connect with your smartphone, you can answer phone calls, listen to music. Because it's very important that if you say you're turning right, yeah. you don't turn left. That's important. Yes, that's important. So you know you are making the right turn because the Pushing speakers. The right yes, yes. And this is a similar function in this? For yes. The it's a similar function, but it's for the cycling helmets. It's, for, it's very light. It's, it's only 280 gram. 280 gram? How does yes. it work, the turn signals? Also with the remote? Also re with a remote. And then you can turn left, turn right. But this remote has connect with this one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And uh, is this the same? The same, but different shape. We have different. Yeah. How do you do this light through the material? How do you do light through? Um, it, in fact, it's our patents. Uh, it's our patents technology. Actually, we are a leading manufacturer of the smart helmet, and we established in 2014. We have 170 patents. So this is one of our patents to make such integrated lights, and looks very elegant. So if you turn off, it's just like a normal helmet. And then you also have one like this. Yes, that is a ski helmet. What we have inside the ski helmet, we have the walkie-talkie function. For example, uh, for example, if you yeah yeah if you connect with your smartphone and use your, our application, all your friends or families you can join in the same group and then you can do a walkie-talkie, push to talk, big button, push to talk. Uh, ex uh, Except that we also have the full detection, SOS. So we have our application, you can set your emergency contacts in our application. If you fall down by accident, you got external impact, with our application will set, uh, send SOS message automatically to your emergency contacts. So your emergency contacts will receive a GPS location. Well, so it's not going to give a, a wrong triggers? It's, uh, it's not no, going to no. contact people when you're just jumping? Um, it for act, sure falling. It's for sure falling. And if for sure falling, a uh, heavy uh, uh, attack, or if you fall down by accident, you do not move. It means maybe you need, uh, you need help. You lost your conscience. You didn't move, so we will send out. But if we also have a 19 seconds uh, uh, counting, so if you are okay, you can just cancel it. If you didn't cancel it, it will send out uh, in 19 seconds. And do you have many users already, or is new? Uh, it's already uh, in the market. Uh, for example, in Germany, we are in middle market, and we are also in the back shops, and we are also in many uh, uh, big retailers. Do you get the letters from users who thank you because you saved them? Yeah, exactly. Really? Yeah, we did. Uh, uh, actually, we, we will announce a, a real story video. This is all real uh, story. Uh, many of our Vivo user they use the SOS function, and the SOS function saved their their lives. And we will announce the video very soon. You will see that it's uh, totally real. Nice. So there it is riding smart. And 
redefine your safety. Ceremony. So we will we we, we start to sell from the October. The next product is not the helmet. Because the, our customer, like cyclist, is riding the bicycle, they only will meet two dangerous things. One is they are full down. If they are full down, they got to hurt. So we, send, we set up the SOS alert to save their lives. But the second one is, if they didn't uh, uh, care about their heart rate, if your heart rate always in the very high heart rate, you meet the dangerous, dangerous. You will certainly maybe die. So they made this purpose. Smart wear, yeah. We made of this product. It's got a function to monitor your heart rate. But when you run your cycle, how you can check your situation? No, you don't need. By voice. By voice to measure you. And if, if the, the exterior maximum sighting, that will warn you. You should shut down or you should stop. Yeah. And besides this, we off, all also monitor the breath rate. And after you finish your, your, your cycling, cycling, we will give you a report. The report will give you a simple analysis. Then the next time you can know how to train yourself much better. Yes, that's our second one, uh, biometric, we call it BW1. Uh, that can connect with our, our application and uh, also can, uh, can broadcast ball by our smart helmet. Yeah, okay. Besides this, we have the third one. The third one is uh, that made a mistake. That's a new product announced, not launched. Because I think a new product got two steps. One is announced. Announced means we got a new product. But the launch means we go to the market. And this one is with a carbon fiber shear. So it's still with a lightweight, but can, uh, can protect you much better. That one will still go for the e-bike uh, radio and will pass the Netherlands e-bike helmet standard. If we can finish that, that will be the world's first one to pass the Netherlands e-bike helmet standard smart helmet. Yeah. And this one we have all function with the BHP2 and new, but it's common fiber. So this one we have almost finished all the research. I think we can uh, launch the market in the beginning of the next year. Okay. Besides this, we have the only one thing need announced. And I really want to thank you, my partner from the UK. Where's this guy? Patrick. The Patrick is over there. Because Patrick gives us a whole to Patrick. Because UK guys not just sell our products in the UK, but also help do some promotion or marketing jobs. So I got my idea and uh, you know, I always say a word. The best learning ability is, the first step of best learning ability is copy, copy. Then I found the iWatch 4 announced a lot of very good video to, to describe their function and then we discussed with the UK distributors, we gave the very good video to describe a real story because we, we, we found four of the uh, cyclists who evolved in the accident then was saved by the Evo Smart Helmet. So today we will <coughs> launch this new video and the new video we will start in September to promote to the worldwide. So please check this video. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. It's just about being out on your own and, you know, just having fun, I suppose, and that's it.
in the morning it's quite nice, especially in the sun like this time of year when the sun's coming up and it's a nice calm day, it's a really nice cycle ride in. I live eight miles. You're on. So here we have some really cool looking helmets here at the Livo event here at IFA. Hi, so who are you? I'm Patrick Daniels from Second Chance. We're the uh, UK distributor for Lival. We started working with them in 2017. And uh, we've been first to market with the product. It's the first smart cycling helmet produced. So um, it looks really cool to have this light. Um, so you've been distributing this in the UK? Yeah, in the UK, yeah, since 2017. So we, we're stocked by Halfords and um, Wiggle and Amazon and lots of independent cycle retailers. Um, as you can see, we've got front and rear lights. And you can see on, on the Neo here, we've got indicators at the front and at the rear, together with inbuilt speakers what and, and microphones. Do? Well, the helmet actually connects to your smartphone. So really it's an extension of your smartphone. So you can take calls, you can listen to music, listen to podcasts, and it makes that daily commute that much more interesting and entertaining, as well as being safe. So how good is the hearing experience in there? You actually you can hear the whole podcast? Very clearly. It's like headphones? Like headphones, but safer than headphones, because you hear the ambient sound around you. So that bus that comes up behind you, if you had plugs in, you couldn't hear it. But with the helmet, you can hear the ambient sound because it's sat above the ear. And it's clear. You can it's hear clear. your Romaniacs podcast or one of these, any podcast you want. Yeah. While you were cycling to work. Yeah. And let's say people live in London. There's a little bit, lots of cars and it's hard to know where they're turning on the left, right. Because I'm not sure about the side where the cars are supposed to be. I mean, I'm joking a little bit, but, but it's really important to have this kind of technology, you know? Well, be, because you're elevated, you're higher up, you're able to indicate um, using the remote control on the handlebars, you can indicate left or right using these, and it illustrates the indication on these big LED lights. So it lets drivers around you know which way you're going to move. And you should also use it in conjunction with the highway code. So you should be using your arm as well, but also you can use the light which indicates your direction of travel. And just to be sure that the light is pointing in the right direction, you can hear a noise. That's exactly right. right? Yeah, that's his really clever um, addition. So you, this ticks as this indicates. So you know that you're indicating this way because the noise is ticking from this earphone. Nice. Can you, can you wear it for just for one second? So it's actually stylish and nice. I'm not sure if it's nice on me, but it's... Uh... Yeah. It's cool to have it in the front like this, because their car is coming from the front too. So what, what did the front do? Does it, it blinks? Well, it blinks as you indicate either to the right or to the left. It indicates from the back and the side as well from the front. So traffic coming from 360 degrees can see your intended direction of travel. So from this video, I'm also going to link to uh, one of these videos that you just shown here at this event. Um, that you produced, right? Um, it's about stories of real users that actually, because some of these have SOS or? Well, so the, the helmet's one of the key safety features is SOS. So the helmet detects any sudden acceleration followed by no movement or sudden deceleration followed by no movement. And after a period of time, the SOS is triggered on your smartphone. And if you don't swipe safe on your smartphone, then it automatically sends your Google map location to pre-selected people, telling them that you've had an accident and this is the bush that you're in. So there is a sensor in there and it, it's constantly in Bluetooth with the phone because of the speaker, because of the other functions that are on the phone? Because the accelerometer and the, and the gyroscope, the, the helmet knows if you've had any sudden impact. And then it lets the phone know, and then the phone then sends the message to your three pre-selected people. Is there anything going on with the navigation? Because on the phone, it knows where you want to go. Is there any like turn left, turn right, or do you have to check your phone? 
Not yet, maybe. There could be, right? There could be a really cool feature. Yeah, which is a you know turn by turn voice navigation, which is already in a, in a, in a Google Maps. Correct. So, so you, you if you've got that it. playing through, you just hear it and through through the headphones. Nice. So it's already there. It's already there. It's already happening. So people are doing that right now. Yeah. So I mean, a lot of Deliveroo riders are wearing them. There's a lot of early adopters. A lot of the smart people that want to be safe and entertained while commuting are already buying Livell helmets. How about branding Deliveroo on it and making a big deal, selling 50k? I'm joking. I'm sure you you're thinking about this kind of thing stuff. Because this, uh, this is huge. In, in the UK, there's lots of delivery happening. It should be like compulsory. Well, safety is important, you know, particularly when we've got a, um, the NHS and uh, we have to pay to fix people in the UK. So, you know, people have to be responsible and they have to wear helmets. It's more, it's, 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 it should be compulsory, some kind of this, eventually. And uh, more and more stuff happening here. Uh, this one is, is carbon fiber. Yeah, carbon fiber. So it's a lighter version of what I'm wearing at the moment. And this is designed for the, um, the e-scooter market. So it's very stylish. It's got the front and the, and the rear indication. Because um, there's more and more of these electric style machines. And this is the perfect kind of like match. So you also sell in the same stores where people buy the e-ski stuff? Yeah, correct. That's, that's what we're doing. Because people don't think to, you know, if you buy a scooter and you're doing 15, 20 miles an hour, you need a helmet. You know, you come off at 15 miles an hour, you're really going to hurt yourself. And uh, in your presentation, you said you were, um, you had some reviewers talk about it and some YouTube videos and stuff. What, what did they say about this? What, did they, what does the review say so far? Oh, no. We have reviewers from um, you know, Cycling Weekly that have given us 9 out of 10 um, saying it, it, you know, the technology that we're introducing is super important. It, it's, it's needed, people are dying and being injured on the, on, on the, on the roads and Lival is providing that extra layer of security and safety. And we're here at the Lival event here at the IFA and hi. Who are you? I am from, I am Walter from South Bavaria, near of the Alps. And um, what do you do with the Lival? So we import Lival and sell, import, sell Lival to the dealers, mostly to the onliners, and now also to the insurance companies. So what do you do with the insurance company? Why does the insurance company buy this? What's the idea? The idea is um, the insurance company make a test if you falling down and then you, you get the smart information to a phone call number so this is very very safe and the insurance company like to sell more insurance mostly accident insurance and then they bundle both together the, the smart helmet and they have a new name this means smart insurance accident insurance so and this can be a really nice future so that means when you buy the insurance you get the helmet you get the helmet it's an insurance for bicyclists or for what for everybody for everybody but one thing is important if you have really an accident then your iPhone send a phone call to this insurance company is this insurance company call this guy back and get no answer. Then the insurance company start the helicopter, police, Red Cross, whatever. So this, the insurance company could potentially buy huge quantities and yeah. everybody should yeah. be using it. Correct. And what is that, for Germany or for, which, where no, are you? we are doing uh, Ergon is a, real, is a German insurance company, one of the biggest, and they has also a company in Austria. So we start in the smaller country, Austria, and this was really successful. Now Ergo has decided to bring the same system to Germany and maybe also to other countries. Because the functionality of uh, if you fall, sending a message is potentially could save life. Yeah, save life, correct. 
it's already saving lives. Yeah. So it's really important to continue to promote yeah. this yeah. and to make it like a standard. Everybody yeah. just, uh, when they're on a bicycle, Look. they always show behind yeah. to the cars coming. Look, the most of the mountain bikers are alone in the forest or in the mountains. <clears throat> so if you have an accident, nobody can help you. What? But Ergo can help you I believe how very, very professional. And then also, Ergo, pay all the costs. So, this is important, not just to protect the head, but... Just protect your life. Protect you from being unconscious and just yeah. not, nobody find you. Correct. Which in Austria probably happens. This yeah. mountains... Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. In Switzerland, yeah. I'm half in Switzerland, there's many accidents all the time. Yeah. And so this should be, and not only for bicycle, for electronic bicycles, yeah. electronic, all these scooters. Or maybe horseback riders. Horse, also. Back, horseback riders, yeah. And uh, uh, skiers. Skiers, it's the same. Snowboarders. Snowboarders, correct. Off-piste skiers. Yeah, out of the piste skiers, yeah. Yeah. Outdoor this, skiers. Outdoor yeah. skiers. Uh, yeah. Mostly it's outdoor <laughs> skiers, right? This is a few indoors somewhere in Denmark, no, not really, but somewhere in China there's indoor ski. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Or Dubai. In Dubai, yeah. Uh, and uh, and motorbikes? No, it's, it's, only, go it's only for this kind of Bike target stuff. groups. Right. But this is very, very important. So, maybe you are married. And then you have a bike ride alone. And you are never coming home. Maybe after one hour, two, three, five, or ten hours, there's no reaction. The wife gets nervous. You know it, no? So, okay, the insurance company call to the helicopters, to the police, and to the wife. And then the wife say, okay. Thank you for helping. So, what's your business? You, you work on bicycles? So, our main business is electronic, sport electronic. We uh, develop bicycle computers, heart rate monitors, altimeters, running computers, and also we are in the e-bike industry. We produce for the e-bike industry computers for the handlebar and sensors. So this is perfect compatibility with the whole, yeah. everything you do. We, are, we have a lot of experience in electronic and software. And this is electronic and software and around is a helmet. Huh? Nice. And uh, what's happening with e-bikes? Because a lot of things are happening, right? Yeah. And it's accelerating. Is going a little bit crazy, you know? Like many people are buying I, these. My opinion is, is totally crazy. Totally crazy. Totally crazy, yeah. Huh? It's uh, like maybe 10 years ago there was a little bit, yeah. but now but don't forget, it's huge. An e bike is like a drug, a cocaine or heroin. But why? If you go to a dealer and the dealer say, okay, please try the bike, the problem is then you are hooked. Correct. For life. Full life, yeah. So, and then the problem is, maybe you have a family, you cannot buy an e-bike alone. The wife needs an e-bike and the kids need an e-bike. So everybody gets hooked for life, and this is yeah. a little bit like the Narcan. Come on, correct. This, this can, <laughs> this can uh, save people's lives. Yeah, correct, yeah. If in, 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 yeah. in case of uh, overdose yeah. uh, of, uh, of biking, e-biking. Don't e -biking. forget, since the e-bike are in the market, older people, uh, handicapped people, whatever, they like to buy an e-bike, but the last biking maybe was 30 years ago. And now they can do it again. Yeah, I do, can do it again. So, but they have no experience. Maybe it's a little bit dangerous. And this helps. 
is absolutely compulsory. Yeah. And how's the quality for Livol compared to competitors? It's more or less the same. But the comp competitors don't have electronic like this. So, <clears throat> but then you know, if you go biking, a car, for example, a car, you can blink in left, you can blink in right. On a bike, it's not allowed. On a helmet, it's allowed. So this is the reason why the helmet has a blinking system if you go left or if you go right. Also, the helmet has a system if you brake, then the helmet is blinking, like a car. It can sense the braking. Yeah. So this means in this helmet are all the functions like in a car. Blinking right, blinking left, brake. Nice. So um, I think it's really exciting and it's another reason to wear the helmet. Mm -hmm. To show where you're going, yeah. to not just protect your head, but more. More, correct. It's much more. It's your life. It, and it's sending the automatic message on correct, in yeah. case of a crash. Correct. But if you have a helmet without electronic and you have a crash, but now body can help you. So it's the only kind of helmet that's yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. And uh, I'm sure there's so many other ideas, right? You're thinking about all kinds of other ways to push more and more of this kind of stuff. But the, the <laughs> yeah. Okay. One of the idea was to put the helm together with the e-bike. So I give you a number. Only 15% of all the e-bikers use helmets. Only 15, 1.5%. So. And the idea was, we, we fit together a helmet and an a, a e-bike. An e-bike has a special software. This one has a special software. And then we bring both together. So, and all the information from the e-bike, you can hear. So we can say like 60 kilometers an hour, Correct. 65, yeah. or too fast, ch or slow the, down. Yeah. A little bit more cadence, you are very slow, or a little bit more speed or too much speed. This is the next step in the future. Sometimes, I guess, people have an e-bike, sometimes they want to bike themselves, yeah. sometimes they want to use the motor. Yeah. Maybe it can encourage you to do some more exercise. Correct. It's like, yeah. hey, you only have three kilometers to home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Push, yeah. Push yeah. turn off the motor. Yeah. Or maybe you have an, or you have a heart attack. And you are start training, you, you know? So, and then we can also me measure the heart rate here. If you have a chest belt, then the, the helmet tell you what is your heart rate. And maybe you have an upper level, then the helmet tell you, hey guy, a little bit slower. Bring your heart rate down. This is really awesome. This needs to be the standard, right? Yeah. So you can push and done, boom, bam, mm -hmm. boom, mm -hmm. with the software, mm -hmm. you know how to make it happen, mm -hmm. but and then the, change the world. Yeah. And the, the latest idea, maybe the information coming from the engine to the helmet, fast or whatever. So the second step is, you know Alexa or the other system. So then you put the helmet in, then you talk with the helmet what the engine has to do. Talking to the to yeah. the engine. Yeah, you can talk with the engine. Yeah, like Alexa. So, you know, yeah. the the wire the wireless transmission is always Bluetooth low energy. This is standard worldwide. So you talk with the helmet. The helmet transmit the information to the engine. And nice. the, so this is, you know. You can say, hi Alexa, uh, or uh, mm -hmm. where's the nearby uh, yeah. uh, currywurst? Yeah. Correct. Or uh, kebab. Yeah. And boom. Or, or I am thinking the engine is a wife. And I said, you have to do this one, and this one, and this one. Basta. The engine is alive? What? No. Alexa. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe the engine is a wife. Is a wife huh? Yeah. And then I am the man. Then I say, hey. You have to do this one and this one. Please faster, please slower. 
and never will give you an answer, a bad answer. This is exciting. There's uh, so much potential in the helmet. It's not a dumb device. No, no, helmet correct. can be smart. Yeah. And so many new opportunities smart. can it's happen. It's extremely smart. And it's going right on the brain, which is where yeah. the only thing we care about yeah. is our mind. Maybe it's, that's, it's, that's, that's the, the final future if you are thinking and the helmet and the engine is doing. <laughs> you can just you can just think where to go and yeah. the helmet will yeah. tell the motor where right. to go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit future, no? Yeah. You're talking about yeah. Do you want to be in the video? Yeah. Hi. But so who are you? Hi, I'm Barbara. I think. Are you the, the CEO? <laughs> yeah. I think the best way is not with Bluetooth and everything. You talk about Hamid, please show me the way and tell me where are you, I am. <laughs> yeah. He told like, me <laughs> everything. <laughs> Am I still in Austria, or did I cross the border, or you can you, maybe that's a bad bad example, but yeah, where you are, because you don't want to look at the phone; it's dangerous while you bike, right? You just get the messages in the in, in the ear. Yeah. So there's a lot of potential. So this is very exciting, no? That's very exciting. Yes, I love it. Why? He tells me I can uh, take some music and. He tells me where I am with in my ear. And how many kilometers from home? Maybe you can say how many yes. more kilometers? Yes. Because you know like children they always like how far, how far, how far? But adults also think like this, right? We also want to know how many kilometers, how many minutes. And always want to check. Maybe. And the wife can control you. <laughs> she, the wife knows where you are? <laughs> Correct. They yeah. can yeah. control you. Yeah. Yes. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's Tracking. very good. When uh, he gives my telephone number, uh, when he has an accident, I have the telephone number. This helmet has the telephone number. And then I know where he is. And you can instantly talk to him, right? Yes. It should be a microphone, yeah. headphones, right. as a phone call. Yes. And you can talk to him all the way home. Yes. We talk about now with this If family. I like or if I don't <laughs> yeah. like, that's, yeah. that's the question. If he now like it, he stop it <laughs> and he cash me out. Maybe then he says, Walter, <laughs> please come home. Everything is ready. And uh, most important is like, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you, right? Mm -hmm. Hurry up, I want to see you again. And then Something I tell like to her, I don't <laughs> understand, I don't you. understand, I don't <laughs> understand. <You huh>? <laughs> no, the Hamid situation is when no. he have an accident. No <laughs> then accident. I'm here. You don't want <laughs> <Not> accident. <laughs> but cool. okay. miss you, miss you for one or two hours is not It's okay, yeah. <laughs>